Okay, hi guys, my name is Ronnie. Um, I used to be a Neuro 1 TA for two years. Unfortunately, I graduated, but I am back and with, with another explanatory video. Um, this time on the, the on off bipolar cell contradiction. Uh, it's not really a contradiction, but it seems like one. So I'm just gonna explain that today. Again, this is for Neuro 1 at Brown University. Um, you know, you might find some of this information helpful for other courses as well in your school. Or, um, ah, whoops, sorry. Uh, you might find this information helpful in, in your school, but again, this information is tailored specifically towards Neuro 1 in, at Brown University. So again, my name is Ronnie, and you can check out my website at www.ronnielee.com. Uh, you can there's a slash n e u r zero zero one zero dot html. Um, if that is the specific Neuro One web page, but you can also just go to the home page and click on Neuro One from the sidebar. Uh, okay. Also, once again, I want to remind you guys that I do have this neurological condition called Tourette syndrome. Uh, it causes me to make involuntary movements and sounds, and I have this symptom called coprolalia, which is basically just a fancy way of saying that I say offensive stuff, right? So, it's it comes from the Greek term to talk shit, <laughs> and um, I promise you it's a real thing. You can Google it, and I just want to make sure that. I, you guys don't get offended by it. Um, if it does come up, I apologize, and uh, I hope you know you you guys won't be too offended by the condition. All right, so let's get right into it. So, what have I drawn here? So, I've drawn an off bipolar cell and an on bipolar cell here, and we're only considering the direct path. Okay, so we're considering the direct path, and that direct path just means the receptive field center, right? So we know that we know that these photoreceptors have, uh, uh, these uh, bipolar cells rather have centers around antagonistic receptive field, but right now what we're gonna focus on is this center right here. So we're gonna focus on this center right there. Okay, so that's what the direct path means. Now, what does off, what do off and on mean? Well, off and on refer to what the bipolar cell does when the center of its receptive field is illuminated. So for the off bipolar cell, when you shine light on its center, it will hyperpolarize because it turns off. So it'll hyperpolarize. The on bipolar cell, you might have guessed, right, will depolarize. Depolarize. Okay, so what accounts for this seeming contradiction here, right? So let's start from the very beginning. We know that number one, photoreceptors. So, um, yeah, I'll just write it out. Photoreceptors are normally depolarized, right, in the dark. Mm -hmm. In the dark, right, because they have this dark sodium current that's going on. And if you don't know about that, you should go back and review that. So they're normally relatively depolarized in the dark, and so they, when they are depolarized, they release neurotransmitter. And in this case, the photoreceptors release a neurotransmitter called glutamate. So they release glutamate. I'll just abbreviate this GLU from now on, which is how it's usually done. Okay, um, so they release glutamate in the dark. And what happens, as you can see from, the, from this picture, in this picture it says when the center of the receptive field is illuminated, so 
basically you shine light on the center, the photoreceptor will hyperpolarize in response to light. Right? So if they hyperpolarize, if the photoreceptor hyperpolarizes in response to light, that means at this junction, right, at this junction right here, they will release less glutamate. And that is true in both cases, right? Because we haven't changed anything here. In both cases, we've shine, we've shine shown, <laughs> we've shined light on the center and the photoreceptor will hyperpolarize and therefore will release less glutamate. So now here's the question, how come, right? How come, um, how come you release less glutamate here and one, in one case, the off bipolar cell hyperpolarizes, but you release less glutamate here. And in the other case, the, uh, the on bipolar cell depolarizes. So that's what I mean by the seeming contradiction, the seeming paradox here. So in order to consider why this happens, we need to think about what is really binding to the glutamate. In other words, the receptors that are on these off and on bipolar cells. So we're going to think about receptors. <clears throat> okay, so number two, off by, so we're going to consider the case of the off bipolar cell case, uh, the off bipolar cell case first. So the off bipolar cells have ionotropic, this type of receptor called ionotropic receptors. And these are just, in this case, in this case, they are sodium channels. They are ligand gated sodium channels. So when glutamate binds, right, when glutamate binds to these ionotropic receptors, these receptors are channels, so they open and they let sodium inward, right, because they let sodium into the cell because. So there's a higher concentration of sodium outside the cell. So they'll let sodium in. Now, now if they now if the photoreceptor is hyperpolarized, right, and they release less glutamate. So if I'm just going to abbreviate here, photoreceptor is hyperpolarized and releases less glutamate then less glutamate binds to the receptors to these ionotropic receptors that leads to a decreased sodium influx right because less glut less glutamate binds the channels, the uh, ionotropic receptors will open, fewer of, the, of them will open, and therefore you're not going to get as big of a sodium current, a sodium influx, as you get before. So that's why the decreased sodium influx, that's why it, the off bipolar cell hyperpolarizes. Because again, you release, the photoreceptor releases less glutamate, less glutamate binds to these ionotropic receptors, this is very important. So this ionotropic receptor is very important for the off bipolar cells. And, uh, get, shit, uh, shit, sorry, uh, sorry about that. Uh, so less glutamate binds to these ionotropic receptors or these sodium channels, and therefore they're gonna let less, less sodium in, and the off bipolar cell is going to hyperpolarize as compared to before when it was relatively depolarized. So I hope that makes sense. Um, now we're gonna go on to the, to the on bipolar cell case. You might imagine that, that um, the on bipolar cell will have a different type of receptor and you would be right. So uh, let's write number four here. So on bipolar cells, Sorry for my messy handwriting, by the way. So on bipolar cells have 
these receptors called metabotropic receptors. So M A T A B O tropic receptors. So they have metabotropic receptors. These this is very important to remember for um, for your exam, for your recitation section, and so forth when you're going over your notes. They have metabotropic receptors and they basically are GPCRs, G protein coupled receptors. In this case, the uh, the I believe the metabotropic receptor used is metabotropic glutamate receptor number six, MGLUR6. I believe that's a little out of scope for the course, but in case you wanted to know, that's a that's the receptor that the on bipolar cells utilize. Okay, so they have metabotropic receptors, and metabotropic receptors are different in that they have they they exhibit a signaling cascade that basically can have whatever effect on the cell that it wants to have. So in this case, in this case, in this case, the glutamate actually acts as an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Why? Well, when it's not clear, but when it, we know that when it binds to MGLUR6, this metabotropic receptor, that it actually has an inhibitory effect on the bipolar cell on which these metabotropic receptors are located. So in this, clay, in this case, glutamate is, uh, well, I'll say has an inhibitory, <laughs> inhibitory effect on the bipolar cell. on the on bipolar shot, that is. So, what does that mean? Well, if there's less glutamate that's released in when the when you shine light on its center, right, when there's and the photoreceptor hyperpolarizes, the photoreceptor releases less glutamate. Normally this glutamate is inhibitory on this bipolar cell. So right here so right here, there's an inhibitory effect. So what that means is that, right, if the photoreceptor hyperpolarizes and releases less glutamate, there is less inhibition. There is just simply less inhibition because there's not as much glutamate to bind to these MGLUR6 metabotropic receptors, these GPCRs, G protein coupled receptors, and therefore there's less inhibition, and that is why the on bipolar cell depolarizes. Right? So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email. You can find all my contact information. Uh, up here in at my website but basically the gist is this it doesn't really matter what um, what neurotransmitter you use uh, you can say that okay glutamate is excitatory okay well it's generally excitatory it's not it's excitatory in the brain and uh, you know in a lot of areas but in this case we've seen a case where the MGLUR6 receptor makes glutamate act as if it were an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So the bottom line, I guess, to the takeaway message here is that it doesn't really matter what neurotransmitter or what ligand, what, what have you, what binds to the receptor. What matters is the actual receptor and the signaling cascade, if, if there is one, uh, downstream of it. So what matters is really the receptors on which the neurotransmitter or any ligand binds. So I hope that makes sense. And if you have any questions, again, feel free to email me. 
or leave a comment in the section in the uh, comment section below. I'll try my best to get to it. Um, also, if you have any topics in your one that you want me to get, you want me to uh, explain a little further, feel free to leave a comment or contact me and I will do my best to make a video based on that. So I hope that was helpful. Um, again, it's the receptor and not the neurotransmitter that really matters. Right, so um, yeah, I guess again, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. All right, thanks guys, bye.